to have each other's shoe, right? We're starting okay. to figure out how can you make a better mountain bike shoe? How can you make a shoe that you can use on all of them? Yeah. So we've all had mountain bike shoes that were made from a road upper and a road bottom, and then we stuck TPE or nylon soles on them. Mm -hmm. And then you bust your ass when you get off the bike. Yeah. So we said, all right, now you stop busting your ass. You put rubber. So we co molded rubber with TPE. Yeah. Why do we do that? Just to keep the weight down. Because if the whole sole is rubber, you get great traction. Right. But you got to carry extra weight. Yeah. If we put rubber where you need it and only where you need it, and just as much as you need, yeah. then you get the benefit of the traction, but you don't have to carry the extra weight. Right. And then we wanted the shoe, from experience, we had a series of shoes called XL. Yeah. And they were great recreational shoes, and they were for a large group of riders. Yeah. All mountain, all day epic rides. And we said, okay, uh, so you can walk off a bike with these shoes really well, and they yeah. perform on the bike pretty well, but there was a performance on them. Okay. So we decided we want performance, but we want the walk walk off the bike. Right. And that's why we tune the carbon plate at the toe and then through the shank to the heel. Oh, okay. So the shoe will flex. Right? It flexes, but it's and stiff. And it will turn. And it's really stiff right here where you need to transfer power. Right. And then the toe will flex as well. So when you get off the bike, okay. you can actually run. And you can take and stick your toe into something, right? And when your toe flexes, it allows that traction. Right. You get that exerting your toe movement, right? So you can yeah. dig your toe in on something and you can push off and move up right. on rocks instead of busting your ass. That's awesome. So that's perfect for cyclocross racers then. Cyclocross so racers. We have two uh, Jurgen Eklund's kids. Who yeah. Are, uh, top ranked riders in their yeah. age bracket. You'll see both Alex. of them racing at cyclocross right Alex. here in it. Yep. We'll see these at cyclocross riders uh, throughout the fall. Yeah. Um, so I think I think there's going to be a big movement from cyclocross riders going. Hey, I agree. I think cool. that's great. Transition off the bike. Mm -hmm. The first stroke. If you hit your heel, yep. you have EVA on the heel, so it makes it comfortable. It keeps oh, you so in cool. under heel. And then. Uh, uh, and then obviously just just being able to flex and run right. the traction, huge advantage for right. cyclocross riders. And let's talk about the fact they look really freaking cool too. Okay, so the design language, right? We uh, we worked with our design term internal, and uh, the idea there was we wanted to draw your attention to where the magic is. Right. So we used color to draw your attention. We also want to do something that the bike industry is not really good at. Yeah. We're very conservative. Yeah. And we were like, you know, let's make it wild. Let's go crazy. So we used some inspiration. From Nike football, yeah. the Oregon Ducks. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they change uniforms every week. They change their outfits. Okay. Their cleats and their socks match. It's absolutely crazy. So we decided, you know what? That's good inspiration. How do we do that in the bike industry? Right. So we took color and we bring it up. If you look at these socks, the socks are bare. Come that. at the back. It says Pearl Azimi on one side, Pearl, uh, Pearl on the sock, and Azimi on the other shoe. And so you get a matching set. I love it. I love it. And then if we go down to the range, again, you know, the popsicle colors on the bottom. Yeah. Orange all the way through, right? Yeah. Um, translucent again, so you can see magic, and then a splash of color coming yeah. up on the side. Oh, and then so I'm looking at the green one, and uh, it seems like it would be really good for drying during cross because it seems kind of messy. Really well, but the bigger thing too is it won't hold any moisture because the mesh is not going to hold it. Right. And then a TPU film that's on top of it. Mm -hmm. The only downside maybe for cross is if you're really in the cold. Uh, let's say you get really cold and really icy. Yeah. It is breathable. So. so Somebody may say, okay, I'm going to go to the 2.0 because it's got more synthetic okay. and it's less breathable during the, during the harsher time of the year. Okay. Or if you start in September and you, you know you're going to wear a booty anyway, yeah. you, could do, you could do either way. Yeah. And Great then if we get to the women's range, Ooh. we took the women's series um, and here we took and improved the lasso. We reduced the volume in the heel uh -huh. and then we reduced some of the volume through the instep and, and through the arch area. Okay. Right? And trying to, right there was trying to appeal to the lower volume women's feet. Right. So if you don't have a lower volume foot, it's okay because we'll probably catch you in a low enough size of the range. Okay. If you have a really low volume foot, we okay. try to make a series of women in there. Okay, so I have to ask with the women's shoe, is it more comparable to like the slightly lower end of that shoe or is it? Actually, this one and this one are exactly the same. Okay. They have the same sole as the top end. Okay. Right, so no, no loss of benefits with the exception of the strap. Okay. okay. This is a fixed strap and then this strap is adjustable. Oh, this is okay, more mesh gotcha. and more open. This is more synthetic, but the sole is okay. exactly the same. Okay, and cross racers might even like the more synthetic thing. Like we said, it'll keep your feet a little bit warmer anyway. Yep. Okay. And then, uh, when we go down, right, uh, down into the entry price point. Right. Now down here, we again, we do men's and women's down here. This is yep. about 160 entry. And this is where we blend a little carbon, uh, or a little glass fiber with carbon fiber. Okay. So uh, to bring the cost down so we can make it affordable. That's a nice carbon composite. And then you still get the benefit of the flexibility all the way through the shoe. Okay. 
Okay, cool. You still get the rubber, you still get the TPU, it's lightweight. Right. I mean, you can feel the weight of that too. Right? Oh, yeah, that's super and lightweight. 160, pretty good bargain, right? Yeah. And then at 220, here, okay. you'll get an insole that comes with it, a one-on-one -on -one insole, so you can change out the Varus and the Oh, foot. nice. And you get an arch, so you can improve the size of the arch aspect. Oh, wow. Sometimes you get up to the 1.0, you get the same kind of thing. You get, a, okay. you get an insole, double adjustment on the strap, by the way, uh -huh. so you can center the strap, and then the lightest weight. Okay, cool. Cool. So that's what you get going on. Love it. Very cool. You race?